Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today guys, I'm going to test 10 games on a $200 gaming PC and the PC specifications are in the video's description. So if you want to see the PC specification, go check the video description. And before we start the video, please like the video, share the video, comment on the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this without further any delay. So let's start the video. So the first game we're gonna test here is Grand Theft Auto 5, the most popular open world game of all time. And we're gonna test this game on normal and high settings. And while using this setting, we get FPS in the 40 line, which is really great FPS in this kind of PC. And for my opinion, this was not good for me or not really surprising for me because this is game the, the GT5. Sorry, the GT5 was launched in back in 2013 so this was really gonna happen because the specification was really good for the recommended spe specification for GTA 5 and we're gonna see how this kind of specification will work on the other games and we're gonna see in these next coming clips in this video so stick to the video to see next game how they will perform on other games so the second game I'm gonna test right here is Genshin Impact while testing Genshin Impact I was really surprised with the results because I was testing Genshin Impact on full HD settings on medium and testing Genshin and I was having a FPS about in 40 to 50 line which was really great FPS to see on the game like Genshin Impact because if you see Genshin Impact specifications online the lowest specification you get is GTX 660 Ti I have GTX 750 Ti and I was playing this game on low settings before making this video and then I thought let's make video on medium setting and see how much fps will get and the fps is on on the screen you can see right here and, and i'm very surprised to see the speci uh, the fps sorry the fps because you see the gtx 750 ti is in lead was 2013 and Genshin impact was a brand new game coming in 2020 and the spa and the fps on this kind of game was really good so i really love how they how the GTX 750 Ti perform on this game so let's move on our next game which is Valorant so I'm testing Valorant on the highest settings as possible on this PC which is 1080p ultra setting uh, highest setting I use on Valorant and the as you can see here the FPS right on your screen which is above the 100 line and it is not drop in 90s line and which is really good to see so GTX 750 I really perform good with the Valorant and 8GB RAM is really worth it while playing with Valorant. So yeah, this is for this this game because Valorant it does not does not need that much high specs and it is really good to play with GTX 750 Ti. So the next game I'm testing right here is Just Cause 3. I test Just Cause 3 on 1920 cross settings with lower settings as possible. While testing Just Cause 3, I face some serious issue playing this game because the FPS drop in this game and the lowest setting was really bad. Sometimes the FPS drop even 1 or 2 while having a lot of destruction in this game the FPS will get really bad which is not that much good thing I see because Just Cause 3 is literally released in 2015 and the game is still does not getting us that much better performance as Genshin Impact giving us on medium settings on full 1080p HD Pro settings which is really shocking to see it is why like i think the game is not good optimized or i think it's just my opinion to see this game because this game is really need really heavy card about 4 gb card you really need to play on 1080p medium or high settings which is i think it's really too much for a simple game like this anyways let's move on on our next game which is sleeping dogs so i test sleeping dogs on the medium settings on full hd and why i test it, this game on medium setting because playing on high settings the game fps is about 40 to 30 which is i don't really like and the game graphics on medium setting was also really look beautiful so that's why i play it on the medium set settings i test this game on ultra setting and i face some really serious issues like the fps is about 22 to or 17 even sometimes fps drop about one which is really bad because sleeping dogs was released in 2012 and i think the dropping issue may be because it is not really good optimized with nvidia graphic cards or something else 
well i don't know but still this game is really good working with the nvidia cards and the fps is stuck on uh, is still on 60 which is really good to see and the next game which i'm testing is battlefield bad company 2 and battlefield bad company 2 works really good on higher settings uh, on this pc and because the battlefield bad company 2 was released in 2010 so this is gonna happen because we all know gtx 750 ti was released in 2013 so it is really compatible with this game so i'm not gonna talk about this game much because we're gonna cover more games which is coming next in this video so if you don't subscribe if you already don't subscribe to my channel, channel please subscribe my channel like the video and share with share this video with your gamer friends anyways let's move on into our next game which is warden so i test warden on the 9020 resolution with the highest settings as possible on this game while testing this game i get fps in the line of 47 and 48 which is really good too uh, which is really good and it's playable and it is really good to see on the pc because uh, this kind of pc that i have it's you know, it is made with only 200 dollar and it is really good that much you can expect from this kind of pc and i'm really happy with the performance that it, the pc is giving me on to the next game which is moto gp 17 so i test moto gp 17 on the 1920 resolution on the highest setting and the fps i'm giving right here is about 70 to or 80 line and i was expecting that much fps because moto gp is just a simple racing game and it does not capture that much colors as you can see right here is just a simple racing game which is run on a track not just like open world where your fps drop like in just cause 3 so yeah that much fps was expected with expected with gtx 750 ci so i'm really not surprised with that performance and otherwise the performance is really good as you can see right here i love that performance the next game we are testing right here is iron sight so i test iron sight on 9020 cross setting and higher setting as possible and i found really positive result while playing this game this game giving me 60 to 70 fps which is really good to see and playing this kind of smoothness is really good feeling and it is really satisfying while playing this kind of settings and i really love the gameplay that my pc is giving me so yeah i really love that gameplay as you see right here and the last game that I'm testing is Goat Simulator. So I test Goat Simulator on 9020 resolution and I found out really good result while playing Goat Simulator. I play Goat Simulator on very smoothness as you can see here. The app is about on 50 to 60 FPS and if times if sometimes in that you explosive some cars the FPS will drop to 20 or 30 which is not that much good because as you can see the Goat Simulator graphics are not that much good as you see right here. Uh, but sometimes in the explosion as you can see, uh, gonna see right now the fps will not drop as you can see right here the fps on 50 to 54 or 45 like that they drop but anyways the gameplay is really good on this pc so guys that is for today's video so guys if you like this video please like the video share the video comment on the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel that is today's for video guys Th thanks for watching bye